Another o to to form a mammal bar from Wumi. My countrymen and women learn truth no good do. How can person live in old husband? Go to support another woman when buy their picking. Because say the person promise us more money. Now everything done the bar fire. Wumi mobile wife don't turn my mama bar to rag. I'm mama mobile not get choice but to suffer it because she can't go back to her husband at this point. Ona see where the long to carry and go. I'll be dropping the audio with you guys, but before that, if you are new in this particular channel, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish any latest video. Guys, let's proceed. Show some motherhood. You, you know, you sneak to the school and try to see your child and see how he's faring. Show some motherhood, but she didn't do that. But when the boy went through 15 years of strife and suffering and, you know, uh, uh, loneliness, lacking that mother touch in his life, which led him to choose the wrong you know, uh, partner as a wife, because when you lack a mother touch as a kid, you, you tend to lose touch with actual female nature, you know, and then you just go into, to choose your choice of uh, female, I don't know, did they end up to be wrong, because you don't really know how femininity works, and then you lack that mother love, and then you are desperate for it, and then you just go into the arms of anybody that, or any woman that uh, shows you love, you know, but not, but does not actually mean that she loves you. So then after 15 years, and then the boy is actually picking up, then she came back to the boy's life, you see. So it means that she's for the money, you know, she's for the benefits, she's, she's where the money is, you know, she's where the enjoyment is, she's where the, uh, the, the, uh, the incentive is, you understand. And she, when she came back, and the boy was trying to bring his mother and his father together, you understand me, as he, and also to, you know, put money in their pocket and to get them to live a better life. But you see, upon the, the, the demise of Mubad, uh, the opposite happened. When we use the opposite to polarize both the mother and the father and then bring the mother to her side and get her to commit herself to the to her own storyline and make her to make certain public statements to make it seem as though, you know, Baba Mubad is the wrong person. And those things cannot be taken back because she's now into it and having to come out and say all those things I said was wrong is, is a disgrace. So as a older person should think about it as what she has eaten and what she has benefited from, you know, at the, at the uh, at stance. So that is the price that, you know, she has to pay. But we are saying that he's not too late for her to come out. He's not, of course, she'll be bashed, she'll be disgraced, she'll be embarrassed, but it is still not too late for her to come out and say the truth about the whole thing that led to the death of her husband. I think they're just telling her that well, Adurato will be, uh, will, will, be, will, be, will be implicated. There is no way Adura will be implicated because Adura was not, Adura did not stab his brother. So, you know, they are trying to make it seem as though if you talk, then whatever we have to give you and Adura, we're not going to give it to you. So she still still that money and that incentive that she's trying to protect for herself at the end of the day. So greed is one thing, and it's a problem in our society, and everybody's affected, mother, father, uh, leaders, citizens, is greed. And yeah, so let me just stop here, but that's the picture. I would just like to add, please, just to elaborate what Fortman uh, Carter said. Yes, in the interview of Mumi Moba, she said a statement there that actually confirms what you just said. And she said that, I quote, according to her, that uh, even though I know that I stand to benefit the most from my son's wealth. Who told her she stands to benefit the most? The person that has not been there. And how did she know about benefiting the most? Is that what they told her to keep her quiet? I'm just saying from what, according to Mommy Moba. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. Uh, Prince, let's have you. I like the narrative that everybody has been given so, so far. And, you know, I've learned a lot of things from, from this, this afternoon. It's, <laughs> it's so amazing. And, you know, uh, Yoruba will say, to bat it do do. Enyeole kao do do. It is as simple as that. That's what I'm seeing about Yamubad. Because a case now, 
is becoming something that even so toxic to her by herself. Now, either she's passing through a lot or a lot is passing through her. She can't come out in one way or the other. But there is still room for her to do, to do the correction. If she can reason very well, and she come out and say, these are things that happen, these are things that make me to keep silent, these are things that is making me to talk or to say something like this. If she can come out to say that, why not? Case closed, we understand, it, it means that it's giving us more clue about what our buying is son. That's one. See, there is no doubt that we um, supporters that they don't know what they are doing. There is no doubt about it. It is so clear. It is so glaring. But, you know, they said, I'm a big money. I can big go. And I think, you know, when Karimo is realizing some of the mistakes that she made in the past, and she's, she's trying as much as possible that, even if you are not listening to anybody now, I think I've come to realize that this is what an how I've made this mistake. This mistake, let us correct it. This is one, some truth that I've heard about this thing that even maybe my sister is not even telling me because he wants to hide some secrets. Now, you have been giving a lot of different narratives and you are doing a lot of damage control. Can we look at it this way? Then the see, see her as an enemy. So that's the reason why that in their camp, there are a lot of things that is undergoing. They are preaching her and she can't take that again. Don't forget, even Tibuki Jesse, Toba Sonko Mbanyo Suni public, oh my, but a you know, I know you are coming against her. So if she can come out to come and say that, you know that a lot of behind the scene has happened. So no doubt. But one thing I know is this, you know, when we are talking, sometimes they will come, they will be saying blah, 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 a lot of things that they will come and say and see how they are coming on here now to expose some of the things that they think that, uh, that is hidden. Some of the things that they themselves know that these are truth. See the way they are coming to explain it. Just like nobody asks you. And I always keep saying something. I said, see, if, we, if all of us said, we fold our hand, we don't want to fight for justice for Mubad. Mubad himself, God has helped him to fight a lot of battle on the ground that we ourselves, we can't just even explain we can't just even explain. Yamubara said, Ah, Mukwe and Timmy, a wage, you bully, Jati Jadi, a Jenny Jadi Lara or May. You can't even come to defend that in public. That's one. Then two, looking at the benefit, who told you that you are the most beneficiary any wealth of Mubad or to the death of Mubad? How did you know that? Is that the reason why you have to decamp to someone else or to someone who you know allegedly that you may have one or two things to say about what I find your son? So we are just getting there. As I said before, I said, see, there are a lot of hidden secrets behind all these things. The thing that is hidden. <laughs> Like just like breeze. Oh my And that's what is happening now. Imagine Karibo can come out and be saying all this. This is just something that happened like two weeks ago. I know that there are some things that will have come out that will have even see more than this. So, you know, a lot of things about to come out. A lot of bombshell. Yeah.
Thank you very much, Prince. Um, and everybody that have said one thing or the other has... But immediately they see us fighting, they will come for us, they will doing blah, 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 as if they are innocent. The Jumi and Maisi, they said, they made a statement that, Jumi, they said Maisi said she go and made a finance about Wumi. Because since they are supporting her, they don't know anything about her. She's not telling them the truth, they don't, she, she's not talking true to them. So they need to go and make investigation on, the, on her own. And she see that a lot of people that she's, she's doing a finance, she sent people to Lagos to make a finance Maybe the people that are closer to me, or maybe nearby them. They said the, the, the feedback she gets is a very bad one at that. That the feedback they give her, she's a very bad feedback. And they even said the way she's treating Yamuba is, a, is very bad. But that woman don't have a choice. They said the way they, they, they are treating Yamuba now is a very, very bad manners. But that woman, she didn't have a choice and she cannot come outside because she has already messed up the time. And she cannot back her. So all this one that Yamuba is doing, you can see now. Even Yambori, you can see, she's not happy, she's not fine. Let's be serious, let's be, let's be, let's be frank with ourselves. Yambori is not fine. She, in the last time she come outside, she she, she is, she she was, she she is. What's fine now? Nah. She's not fine, she's just trying to, she didn't have a choice. I know that she's trying to protect someone here. She's trying to protect someone here. That's why she didn't have the boldness to come outside and come and talk. That's why Mumi is using that to, 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 to pin her down. That woman, she's trying, she's going through a lot. But she didn't have a choice here. And I pray she, she overcome all this nonsense that she's putting herself into. But I don't know how you are going to be supporting but, someone. But, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. You said, um, <laughs> yeah, Mubad is going through a lot and she doesn't have a choice. I don't understand that, that sentence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that she, because she's trying to protect someone now. She cannot just face that because she's trying to protest all that person with all means. That's why she didn't have a choice. If she's not Talo protecting no. someone, she can that. Talo no, Talo no, go protect the mother and showman. Talo no, go say, you, you know, you cannot, that you okay? We cannot say that she's protecting the mother and showman. Ah, the son's saying, ah, let's conclude, we won't protect the mother and showman. Adura is in the house. Adura won't know yeah. here. Yeah, she, she, hold, on, hold on, hold on now. I want to get you now. You said the Yamubad is not fine. She's not Yabi. Is that not what you said? Adela. Eh, and I said that who sent her not to be fine? Who sent her not to be fine? Is Baba Mubad not fine? Who sent her not to be fine? She yeah, chose the camp she belongs. Bambubad is not with lies. That's why he's fine and he's glowing. And so who you now said that she took the parts now? You're not getting it. That's our choice. Nobody chooses it for her. I don't understand. Because I don't choose her phone now. She chose it for herself. Um, you said I'm clueless. What's, what's, what's um, you don't uh, that you're most friendly? Clueless. What what your daddy was trying to do is to also corroborate what Adiola was saying, but in a more enlightening manner, okay, so as not to mislead uh, the people that are on this platform listening to it. Because actually, she led uh, Mama Mubad brought herself to the situation that she's in because she had a choice to stand on justice and to uh, act like a real mother of a child that was killed. So she had a choice to demand justice and also to stand with Baba Mubad, you know, to take a stand with him, to request that what killed my son, what happened to him, and to request justice right away. But she decided to uh, allow those uh, expert manipulators who are women's friends, especially some of them who are celebrities, to use a lower nature and a greed to hook her and to use her to advance their own interests, you know, in such a way that she's now in it, like she's, she, she, you know, they just sacrificed her and now she can't get out of it. So whatever she's feeling, whatever pains, whatever 
regret or embarrassment or disappointment she's feeling is something that she's now forced to, you know, uh, to endure. She's trying to endure it because of the embarrassment of coming out and saying the truth. But she still has a way. There is still a window now because the DNA is yet to be out. And also the autopsy result is yet to be interpret interpreted, although it's out. So she still have a chance, it's a tiny window to, to come out and see what she actually knows. So she allowed herself to be used because of her greed and her lower nature. And they simply used the vendetta that she had with Baba Mubad. They use it, they re, they re, it's just like you, you resurrected an old, you know, disagreement you have with your husband and they use it as a grievance so as to corral support for women and then get paid in return. So that's what is really going on. So she had a chance, but she chose that way uh, just because of, you know, some incentive, financial and of course, psychological in my, yeah. So we are both saying the same thing, but Baba, so uh, Daddy York is just trying to shed more light on what you're saying, Adiola. So you're not saying anything that is wrong. And you're of course not clueless. So that's it. Thank you, Fortman, for that um, explanation. I was, I was trying to tell Adeola that um, the, the path Mama Mubad chose, she chose it herself, and anything she gets from it, so you can go on, Adeola, and continue with your talk. Adeola, you stay there. I don't think she's saying anything again. Yeah, let me just give a little analysis. On yeah, I'm there, I'm there. Because he has already explained what I'm trying to say. So that's why I don't talk again. Oh, uh, okay. Because in spite of Adora's, uh, it, because you can see that during the coronary inquest, when Adora was called to make his own account, to give his account of what really happened, you know, she, uh, incentive and uh, i don't know i don't uh, she encouraged adora not to say what he knows about the situation because she according to what we heard she, she, she took him out of the courtroom and you know went on and you know she went she is going to like comply with what about expedite this move uh, the drive for justice but she intentionally did that and she obstructed justice by forcing adora to keep mute or to keep quiet and since then, the coronal inquest has not been able to call Adura up and ask him what really happened or, you know, what he knows because of the excuses that Adura was given as a result of his mother's pleading, plea, uh, pleas. So she brought herself into that situation. But you see, a lot of people who are like this, they always want to blame people for their situation. They are always Baba Mubad. You can see what happened when the video she made a video and she was trying to uh, accuse Bookie JC of you know leaking out her location or something. She also tried to tie the whole thing on Baba Mobad as though Baba Mobad was the one who sent who in uh, in connivance with Bookie JC decided to you know send maybe some people to reveal her in that location. Maybe they want to kill her and all those alarmism and to create a sensation and Ghana a thread again for Baba Mobad. So she Basically, she really knows what she got into before she got into it, but she does not really understand the consequences and the, she, she has not fully weighed the consequences of it. That was why when they were having that discussion in the house, when she was given an envelope, you can see someone that looks like Wumi was close to her, you know, try to talk, trying to, you know, covering her face with some hat, some pink, you know, you know, hat or something, and was trying to talk to her and trying to tell her, get her to, be on the same page with the storyline. And we can see Tonto Dike and uh, Yabojo, they were there, you know, trying to, you know, panda to her, trying to, you know, you know, to molikudu her, you know, to get her to go along with the script and to just, you know, stay on the script. So, you know, they are going everywhere for her, you know. So, where are all those molikudu now? Where, are, where is Yabojo? Where is all those things now? You know, they are no more there, except maybe they want her to say something against Baba Mubad. And maybe to give her some money again, and then they come around her and get her to whip up the policy once again. So uh, it is you have to understand that greed 
is one thing. You know, greed can make you do something that you are not supposed to do. It will make you to see the truth and ignore it if you allow yourself to be taken over by the lower nature of it, of greed. So she's greedy because she left Mubad when Mubad was just a kid because, and she knows the prophecy that was said about that child. And as a mom, even though you left the, the man, you shouldn't leave the kid. You should be going to the school and taking the kid out. You should be taking food to visit your kid during break time and say, look, don't worry about that, your naughty father. Take this uh, bread and eat. Take this dairy. Take this uh, meat pie. Take this.